Hi, welcome back. I'm Josh with Fisher's Health Department back on Tuesday, June 22nd, 2021 with our weekly COVID-19 community update. So in terms of our risk of transmission within the community, we recently moved from level three orange to level two yellow uh, approximately two weeks ago. Um, we are currently sitting in a space where we are seeing some nice decline in the Hamilton County unique individual positivity rate, the Fisher's testing site positivity rate, and our case incidence rate. So if those numbers stay declining um, or stay within the area that they're at this week, then we may be able to advise moving down to level one, uh, indicating a low risk of transmission within the community. That would be our green level. Right now, their primary metric area stays in yellow because we do like to have a couple weeks of stability before we recommend moving the community risk rating down. So the Hamilton County positivity rate for unique individuals is 3.2%, the Fisher's testing site 3.8%, and our case incident 3.06. So those individually on their own are all within green one more week, and with that combined with our secondary and tertiary metrics, which have been and remain in green this week as well, but they've been in green for several weeks, if those primary metric areas stay in green again next week, it is likely we'll be able to recommend moving down to our green risk rating level. In terms of new cases, our most previous seven day reporting period where we're looking back at the number of confirmed cases, we've had 21 within Fishers, which is really good. Um, it's, it's quite low, so we're really excited to see that. We're seeing a concentration of cases coming up in those um, age groups with uh, lower vaccination coverage is often aligns with the younger age groups that have had less time to get vaccinated. So we have our highest age specific case rate per 1000 residents uh, in the 16 to 19 year olds, that's at 0.60, and the 20 to 29 year olds at 0.53 per 1000. Uh, the rest of all of the age specific case rates are declining over time, which is really good to see. Um, and that's in part due to the wonderful job that you and the rest of the residents are doing and going out and seeking your COVID-19 vaccine. So when we get our vaccination data from the state, we always like to look at how our community is doing compared to other communities. And we're very thankful that our uptake rate has been quite high in Fishers. As of last Friday, we had 70.7% of our residents that are age 12 and older received their first dose and a fully 65.7% fully vaccinated. So that is really good to see. Um, where we've had some slowing in our uptake is in the 20 to 39 year old age groups. So if you're in that age group and you have questions about the vaccine or if you have any concerns about it, or if you have family or friends, colleagues, anybody in that 20 to 39 year old age group, please do reach out to us. We'd love to discuss the opportunity of the vaccine with you and, and hopefully answer questions you may have. Um, the rest of the age groups are continue to have quite a high level of coverage. The 60 and older among our residents have 92% coverage. 40 to uh, 59 has roughly 73% coverage between those two. The 20 to 39 year olds have about 54, 55% full vaccination coverage. And then the younger groups, 16 to 19 and 12 to 19, they're catching up. They've been eligible for a bit of time less than some of the other age groups. 16 to 19 is 60% full vaccination coverage and the 12 to 15 is all the way up to 25% full vaccination coverage. If you will be out at Spark Fishers this weekend, we encourage you to stop by and receive a vaccine. If you haven't had a chance to get vaccinated, we will have our mobile COVID-19 pop-up clinic at Spark Fishers on June 26th. So please do come by and see us. We would love to see you there. As a reminder, none of our sites, um, our mass vaccination site or our pop-up clinics that we advertise or any other vaccination site for COVID around the state, um, you can walk into these. You do not need an appointment. If you need help or have any questions, please do call us at 317-595-3211. We would love to speak with you, answer any questions that you have. We hope that you stay safe and that you enjoy a wonderful weekend weekend. Thank you so much. Goodbye.